Hi, I'm Brandon White, General Manager of Tactical Space Systems at Northrop Grumman. For every commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station, we name our Cygnus spacecraft after a pioneer in human spaceflight. Today, it is my honor to announce the naming of the Cygnus cargo spacecraft that will be used in the upcoming NG-21 mission to the International Space Station for Francis Richard Scobie, former astronaut, pilot, and engineer. Known to his family, friends, and colleagues as Dick, Scobie started his career by enlisting in the U.S. Air Force as a mechanic and earning his way to his pilot's wings and serving in Vietnam. He later became a test pilot, logging over 6,500 hours of flying time on 45 different aircraft. He was selected as a NASA astronaut candidate in 1978 and flew his first mission as a pilot for the Space Shuttle STS-41C mission in 1984, logging 168 hours in space. In 1986, he was named the commander for Space Shuttle Challenger on the SLS-51C mission. Dick Scobie lost his life along with six other crew members when the vehicle exploded shortly after launch. He was 46 years old. Nearly 40 years after his death, Dick's legacy continues to inspire generations of aspiring pilots, engineers, and students who are driven to test the boundaries of human spaceflight, technology, and space exploration. SCOBY was posthumously awarded the Congressional Space Medal of Honor in 2004 by President George W. Bush. SCOBY is memorialized across the country, from the National Medal of Honor Heritage Center in Chattanooga, Tennessee, to the San Antonio College Planetarium as well as at Arlington National Cemetery, where the seven Challenger crew members are all honored for their courage. We are privileged to honor Dick Scobie's legacy and recognize his achievements as a pioneer who contributed so much to human spaceflight and our collective reach to explore space. Go, Go NG-21. Go, Go Cygnus. Cygnus.